This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why are most of the brush modifiers grayed out when I select a brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about the brush stroke modifiers. So there are two areas inside of ZBrush where you can go to find these. So the first one is underneath where you select a brush, and it's this palette right here. And if I click this, you'll see you have a bunch of different brush strokes you can select, and then you have modifiers for these strokes listed below. And as you can see here, most of these are currently grayed out. Now the second area where you can find these is in the stroke palette. So if I open up the stroke palette at the top here and then go to modifiers, you'll see a list of these as well. And once again, these are grayed out. So the question is asking about why these are grayed out when I select a brush. So before I go into this, I first just wanna dock this stroke palette to the side so I can just have it open. So I'm gonna navigate over the side here and double click the divider here to open up this tray. And then I'm gonna go back to the stroke palette. I'm gonna click this little icon here and click and drag and just drag that over to the side. So now my stroke palette will live over here. Now the modifiers for the strokes will come available depending on which stroke you have selected. So with the dot stroke selected here, you can see I really only have the roll option and the roll distance modifier enabled. If I change to something like drag dot, you'll see that the roll and roll distance are going to become disabled. And then if I change to something like the spray option, you'll see now I can mess with the placement, scale, color, and flow. And then if I change to something like the rectangular stroke, you can see now I can use the square option and the center option. So these items here, or these modifiers, will become enabled depending on which stroke you have selected. So not all of these modifiers here are supported by every single stroke. Now in addition to this, there are certain strokes that you can only use when you're out of edit mode. So if you're in edit mode, you're going to be in 3D mode inside of ZBrush. So this means that you can rotate around your model and sculpt at different angles. If you get out of edit mode, you're gonna be put into 2.5D mode. And with 2.5D mode active, you're gonna be able to use a different set of strokes as well. And some of these strokes will then enable some of the modifiers over here. So as an example of this, I'm gonna go over the tool palette over here and I'm just going to click on my tool and in here, you'll see at the bottom, you have a bunch of 2.5D brushes. So I'm gonna select one of these, like the simple brush. And with the simple brush selected, if I come over here and open this stroke menu again, you're gonna see you have a whole bunch of other strokes you can use as well. And these strokes are only going to become available when you're in 2.5D mode. So things like the line option, which is now going to open up different modifiers they can use for the strokes. So the main thing to take away from here is that these modifiers are gonna be enabled or disabled depending on which stroke type you currently have selected. So if you're in 2.5D mode and you start using these different strokes here, some of these options are become enabled. But then if you're back in 3D mode, you're now gonna have a different set of strokes you can choose from, and then these strokes are going to enable or disable these options based on which modifiers they can use. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.